God bless you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. If I should search throughout eternity long and find there is none like you. There is none like you. There is none like you. No one else. No one else can touch my heart like you do. If I should search throughout eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. One more time. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Glory. If I should search throughout eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Praise the Lord. 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 I truly joined the songwriter this morning to say, there is none not like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. And if I should search through all eternity long, there is none. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Today I am really glad and happy to be in the house of God today yes. with you my brethren Amen. I want to greet everyone in the wonderful name of yes. our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I want to give special thanks for our dear beloved Pastor Scott um, thank God for last week we saw Sister Leone now we see Sister Sister Sonia they're coming by one by one they're coming back one by one praise the Lord so God bless you, every one of you, and it's Amen. good to be in the house of God today. And you know, um, God is good, you know, all the time. And you know, I, I, I'm blessed. I'm truly and wonderfully blessed. You know, I said to Pastor Scott that last week, should we continue the men's service um, because of all this? And he said, yes, yes, let's continue. So. I'm glad we are back with the main service. Thank God. And you know, we don't thank God for keeping us, for His grace and His mercy and His loving kindness. Thank God for you, Sister Rose. And I'm glad for everyone of God's people. It's just wonderful to be in the house of God, to lift up the name of Jesus and to glorify Him in His name. We're going through some rough times. Some troubled times, yes. praise and name of Jesus. But be assured that we're not going through it alone. No. Praise the Lord. The Lord promised that He would be with us. Yes. You know, um, Sister Rose and I were having a little fast through the week, and um, you know, even yesterday I said to myself, I asked the Lord, Lord, give me a word because mm -hmm. I, I don't want to come up here and talk off my head. No. I don't want to do that, you know, and I said, Lord, give me a word, and yesterday I was waiting upon the Lord for a word, and I say, sometimes if God is not talking to you, you feel very uncomfortable. You feel very uncomfortable if you're asking God to talk to you and you're not hearing from God. You should feel very uncomfortable. You know, but I waited upon the Lord, and the Lord dropped a word in my heart. I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because we need, uh, we are at a time now that we need to hear from God. Yes. We are at what you say, maybe a crossroad. Mm -hmm. And we need to have a direction. Yes. Of where, of where to turn. Yes. 
We need to have a direction. Yes. Uh, the world is bewildered. They, are, they don't know what's going on. People are worried. People are panicking. People are doing all sorts of things because of what is happening mm. in the world today. Yes. Nobody has a certain answer no, no. of what's going on in the world today. Yes. You know, everyone is restricted. Yes. You see, you go into the supermarket and everybody have a mask on their face. Yes. And they have to stay a distance from each other. If you tell me last year that we would be doing this this year, I would, I would, I would say no. I can't see that. So we've seen things today that we never saw before when the whole world is on a lockdown. Shut up. People lock up. Lock up. Praise the Lord Jesus. And it does make you wonder. But you know, it's good in that um, pastor always told us about, to teach us about you know, Revelation, about the prophecies, about the times and the fulfillment. And when we think about those things, what we've been taught and what we're seeing now is like a mirror reflecting. It's like you look in yourself in the mirror. You see what is happening today. What is in the word of God is opening up before our eyes like a book. So that means we know that Jesus' words are sure. And we, we need, in these days, we need to be standing on the promises of God. Amen. We need to hold on. This, we're in a boat. And there's a wind and the boat is rocking. You can't be comfortable. No. You're in a plane. So, I mean, those who fly. And sometimes you're in a plane and you get... Turbulence. Yes. I remember one time I was traveling a plane and uh, I heard the wind mm, and the plane was going up and down. And I said, oh my God. Uh, and I started to pray. <laughs> I really started to pray because I was not comfortable. Oh, and we're in a time now, brethren, mm. where we can't be comfortable. Sure. We are not comfortable. I want to just look at the scripture um, from Hebrews chapter 2. Hebrews chapter 2. And I'm just going to read a few verses down. And then I will show you the word that Lord, the Lord put on my heart while I <coughs> was waiting upon the Lord to hear something from the Lord. Um, Hebrews chapter 2. I'm going to read a few verses down. Maybe verse verse 9. And... Um, <coughs> Um, we thank God for the testimony of God's people and as you find the scripture I just say you know last night with um, Sister Sonia Lee, last night I was watching a documentary about a um, murder detective and um, this woman from Jamaica and she had two sons one of her sons got shot in Jamaica she was in Bristol here, and the other son got killed. And I'm just saying, when things like that happen to us, you, you can't imagine the grief. You can't imagine it's like somebody take your heart like a paper and tear it up. You can't imagine. You just cannot imagine the grief. It's only the heart that feels it, knows it. So my dear sister, we know your grief and we share your grief. So therefore, it's uh, um, Hebrews chapter 2, it says, Therefore, therefore, we ought to give more earnest heed to the things which we have heard. Least at any time we should let them slip. For if the word spoken by angel was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience receive a just recompense of a reward. How shall we escape if we neglect such great salvation, which the first began to be spoken by Jesus, the Lord, which was confirmed in him 
to us and to us by them that heard him. God also bearing them witness with both signs, wonders, and divers and miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his will. For unto the angels has he put not in subjection to the word to come. Wherefore he speak. But one in a certain place testifies, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? Thou madest him a little lower than the angel, and crownest him with glory and honor, and didst set him over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not all things put under him. But we see Jesus. But we see Jesus. Who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering and the death, crowned with glory and honor, that by the grace of God he should taste death for every man. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless the reading of his word to our hearts, and we say glory be to God, to the Father, and to the Son, as it was in the beginning, so it never shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But we see Jesus. We see Jesus. And um, this is Paul writing to the Hebrews that now we should, we ought to, we, we should and we ought to give more earnest heed. We must accept the word. We must have the word in us. We must live the word. We must, we must have the word in us. We must stand upon the word. We must move with the word. We must, the word has to be in us, around us, and about us. The word of God. And we are to give more earnest heed to those things that we have heard. Everything that we see today, it's, it's in the word. Everything we hear about today is in the Word. Yes. Everything we understand today is in the Word. You know, everything is in the Word. And so we should give more earnest heed to the things that we have, at least at any times, we let them slip. So we understand that Jesus is coming soon by His Word. Yes. And we are waiting. We are anticipating the coming of the Lord. Yes. Because he said he is going to prepare a place yes. that where he is, yes. where he lives, yes. we may be there also. Yes. We're standing on that now. He's made that promise. And we are standing on his promises. And that's why we're here today. Yes. That's why we're here. Because we are holding on to his promise. That he said he's gone and he's coming back again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We give heed yes. to the word of God. Amen. And because we have this as a hope, Amen. we should have the joy of God Amen. inside. Amen. Now, we know that it's not pleasant. And you know, Pastor was saying how he was not well Amen. for five weeks Amen. during the pandemic. Amen. And I don't know if you can even imagine yourself that you're not well and you see people dropping all around you. Yes. This is not a comfortable feeling. No. Because they say, maybe it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say that. Yes. Maybe it's my turn. No, I'm not. I can't even eat. I can't drink nothing. I'm weak. I'm, maybe it's my turn. Maybe I, I may not eat. Maybe they say goodbye to the bridge. But these things, we are human. And these things come in our hearts. We can't avoid it. No matter how great.
what your faith is. Hallelujah. So you can imagine that feeling. Yep. But you hold on. Amen. You, as somebody said about prayer, mm. prayer is the key. Yeah. Yeah, you pray and you say, Lord, I have no strength. I can't eat. I can't drink. But my life is in your hands. Yes. And I hope as this mentioned, this will be coming to me as well. My times. My times. God has yes or no to what happened to us. It, if we live, it is God. If we die, it is God. So God has everything into control. And so we rest upon his promises. It doesn't matter how the feeling comes down. Because sometimes we have some bad feelings, you know. Sometimes we feel weak, you know. Sometimes we can be just, our strength is gone. Sometimes it's like our, our, our spine and soul, everything gone. And we're just like a flat tire. You know, but I can tell you, tired and flat. You can't go nowhere. <laughs> flat tire. Sometimes we're like that, brethren. But you know, the word of God is comforting to us because he said, when you pray, I will answer. He said, I will hear your faintest cry. The eyes of the Lord is upon the righteous and his ears is open to the cry. It doesn't matter how faint the cry. God, hear your cry. Brethren, we must give earnest heed to the word of God. We must lean even more. We must stand even firmer. Yes. We, must, we must just depend on him. Mm-hmm. We must learn to lean on him. Trust now that we need him more. Trust, him. trust not in our own understanding, but trust in God. He says the word that was spoken by angels was steadfast. Because it's a word of God delivered through the angel. And every transgression and disobedience receive a just recompense. It was the days... When they have an eye for an eye, two for a tooth. And you know, they said when the, when the presence of the Lord was on the mountain, if anybody go by the mountain, they will be thrust through with a stone. Because the presence of the Lord was so awesome. But so every transgression and disobedience with a just reward. How can we escape? How can we even think about neglecting so great a salvation? How can we ever consider? turning away from this that God has given us which the Bible says even the angels desire to look into it we have it brethren we have it his blood has bought us salvation and no matter what the storm no matter how hot the fire no matter how deep the waters God have your back. Yes. I'm saying God has your back. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. How can we escape? How can we neglect such a great salvation? Oh my God. Sometimes I think when the Bible says eyes have not seen what God, ears have not heard what God has prepared for us. If, if every man had a little slight vision, vision, a slight little vision of what God has prepared for them that love him, the whole world, the whole world would turn to God. The whole world would turn to God. Praise the Lord Jesus. God bearing them witness with signs and wonders and divers miracles. So, when we accept God, and when we believe God, and when we walk in His Word, God come and make sanction and be a witness with signs and wonders and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to His will. Now, we know the power of the Holy Ghost because we've seen the operation of the Holy Ghost in the days of the apostles we have seen Peter preach a man who was unlearned and ignorant a fisherman fisherman are very ignorant you know I had my dealing with fishermen before they're very very ignorant people and Peter was one such 
But on the day of Pentecost, he was charged up. Brethren, we need to get charged up. Charge up. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And he was speaking on the day of Pentecost. Just as the Spirit gave him utterance. And he said they converted 3,000 souls. Praise the Lord. So God show signs and wonders. It's not just us. God put his sanction. He shows us signs and wonders. When we pray for someone, God shows signs and wonders. Praise the Lord Jesus. Prayer is the key that open every door. And for unto the angel was not the angels, he has not given put into subjection the world to come. Whereof we speak. But in one place, in a certain place, testify saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? Now, we come to a time when we think about what is going on in the world today. And everybody, the Bible, you see, you see a song say, Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. And everybody wants, everybody, nobody wants to die. Everybody fear death. But not everybody fear God. Everybody care about, make sure, keep a distance. Wear your mask, don't come near me, don't hug me, don't touch me, don't shake my hand. Because, well, I don't want to die. Mm -hmm. I don't want COVID-19 kill me. Mm -hmm. So keep your distance. This is it, brethren. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to fear of God, mm -hmm. nobody will fear God. Mm -hmm. Nobody will fear God. Mm -hmm. And our Lord Jesus has a key. Mm -hmm. So which are they going to have death? So are you going to fear the dead or the man who has the key for the dead? Yeah. What, 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 are we fearing the man with the key or the, or the dead? We should fear the man who has the key. Yes. But, but the world doesn't. They fear the dead. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. What is man? We have to come to the understanding that as children of God, we should not fear death. No. And we have to come to the place. It doesn't matter what happened. We, we all have an appointment yes. to die. Yes. We have an appointment. You can't change it. You, you, you phone the doctor and say, well, doctor, I want to see you. The doctor make an appointment. You call the doctor, can't sleep or make a different appointment. Yes. But when dead ready, dead come. Yes. Whether you're ready or not. So we all have to die. We all have to die. And if you know something in, is inevitable, something that has to happen, you sh we should not be afraid of something that is inevitable. We should not. We should reach the point that we have said, okay, I have an appointment. And whether I like it or not, I have to keep it. I can't postpone it. So we're not to be too concerned about death. We're too concerned about the man who has the key to death. Because the Bible says when he rolled, when he died, he went down to hell. And he went down to hell. And he said, Satan, and Satan have the key them. And obviously nothing, Satan just hand them over. Because Satan no one can And then Satan had the key, but he came and took the key. So how much? So what is man? What is man? Thou made him a lower, a little bit lower than the angel. And thou crowned him. They crowned him with glory and honor and put all things put all things everything the falls of the air the fish of the sea the ever beast that call it 
God gave man authority and power over them. Even though he made him a little lower than the angel. But he was crowned with glory and honor. Brethren, as children of God, remember we are honorable people. Amen. We are blessed people Amen. because God has blessed us. Yes. And so we have the blessings of God which no man can take away. Mm. That's a blessing. Mm. What is man? No. But they said, and thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet, for he put all things in subjection under him. He left nothing that was not put under him. But now we see not all things was put under him. So even though everything was under subjections, but one thing, sin, sin, sin rose up because of disobedient. Sin rose up and sin, sin spread like a plague. East, west, north, and south. Sin spread. So now, <clears throat> not all things, we are become subjected to sin because of disobedient. But now we see Jesus. Yes. Now we see Jesus. We didn't see Jesus before, but now we see Jesus. Jesus himself made a little lower than the angel even though he was above the angels but he made a little lower how many? for what? for the suffering and the death so when we suffer brethren let us rejoice in our suffering because when we suffer we are partakers of his suffering and if we are partakers of his suffering we will be partakers of his glory so we should rejoice in tribulation we should, we should rejoice in the temptation mm -hmm. because we are going to be partakers yes. mm -hmm. of his glory. He came for to the suffering mm -hmm. and the death. Mm -hmm. yes. We see Jesus. Mm -hmm. Always look to Jesus. Amen. I said to someone the other day, everything that happened to us in life mm -hmm. is in the word. Yes. Yes. Every situation we go through in life yes. Check your word. It's in there. Somewhere there. You will find it. So nothing that we go through, Jesus hasn't been through. Amen. He has been through. He has walked through the road. Yes. He knows the corners. Amen. He knows the curve. He knows the danger. So, crown with glory and honor that he should, for, by the grace of God, should taste death. For every man. Not be fearful of death, my brethren. Not be fearful for this is not the life. This is not the life. This is nothing to compare. Nothing. This is like a little dream. The life that God have us, giveth for us, have prepared for us is a life of joy, peace. Ah. A, a, a life without pain, without suffering. Amen. A wonderful life. Amen. The joy of the Holy Ghost. Sometimes, I don't know, sometimes we have, we have the service here. And when we have the service, we feel the Spirit of God. Yeah. I don't know. But I sometimes we worship God in, in the house of God. Mm -hmm. And when the anointing comes, mm -hmm. and you feel the Spirit, I remember some time ago when we used to have convention in Jamaica. And church, pop, people can't come in, everybody looking through the window. People can't hold. Church back. And when the Spirit of God come in, and people start to worship, 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 worship God. When people start to worship God. And I tell you something, it's like I feel sometimes when, when that happened, I feel like when Solomon prayed in the temple. And when he prayed, I sincere. Because I was talking about Sister Sue in prayer. She prayed a sincere, Solomon prayed a sincere prayer. Because his prayer was so sincere, yes. God came down and God 
fill the house. Yeah, His presence. Hallelujah. Because he was so pleased. God was so pleased with the, the prayer that Solomon made yes. when he consecrated the temple. God came down. And I'm saying that sometimes I've seen where the presence of the Lord come down in the house of God. Yes. And I tell you something, you just feel like it's like they say the Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. And you feel like some magnificent some yes. magnificent presence. Yes. And you feel like the house of God charge up. Yes. Charge up. Yes. That's the presence of God. Yes. In the house of God. I've had the experience. Mm -hmm. And if you come out with the convention over here, come outside and you're walking, you feel like you're walking on oh, air. You actually feel like you're floating. Lord, Lord. You feel like you're floating. You feel, it's like, you know, something. That's why people take drugs, you know. They get a high. Yes, yes. They start float. They feel like them, they're up on, the, up on the stars. That's why people take drugs. But when you're in the presence of God, yes. oh my Lord, you are floating. Yes. Your anointing is upon you. Hallelujah. And you just feel that, you know, you just feel it. You feel that like yes. you're destructible. Hallelujah. You feel good. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we have witness. We have great witness that God is God. Yes. And even though he seems to be so quiet, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When Elijah went and we were from um, Jezebel, yes. he said he went into the rock mm -hmm. to see the presence yes. of God upon Mount Horeb. Yes. And so the word of God says that there was a strong wind yes. which killed the rocks then. Yes. And there was a fire. Yes. And there was an earthquake. It was there. But it was not there. Yes. God quiet, but yes. he's alive. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God quiet, but he's here already. He's standing by you. In quiet with a still voice. But he's there as a mighty warrior. Hallelujah. He's there to tear down the walls of Jericho. Hallelujah. He don't need no noise. Hallelujah. Oh, we did make a shout. And the walls came tumbling down. Hallelujah. What a God we serve, Virgin. What a God we serve. Hallelujah. Virgin. I say to us today, stand strong. Yes. And the more the ship rock, the yes. more you must hold on. Yes. Hallelujah. Stand there has to be a shaking. Yes. There has to be a rocking. Yes. But hold on. Yes. Don't let go. Yes. Give glory to God. Hallelujah. Because He's worthy. Yes. He's worthy. Praise, Praise God. the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Now we see Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. We see Jesus. Jesus. Thank when you When we see Lord. Jesus, everything Ooh, changes. Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We can't see Jesus and things remain the same. No. no. One song writer says, just a glimpse of him in glory. Oh, yeah. With all the toils yes. of earth we pay. We just, we need to see Jesus. We need to see Jesus. And he was talking the other day about the woman who was at this well of Samaria. Mm -hmm. And when she saw Jesus, um, Jesus asked her for water. And she said, how come you being a Jew asked me a Samaritan for water? Well, the Jews don't have no dealing with Samaritan. Hallelujah. Jesus said, you know who it is? Who asks you to drink the water? You will ask me. You will ask him. For the water. Because the water we're drinking now, you're going to need to drink again. You have to come back again. But the water I shall give you will be as a spring. Basic. God not give us small things, you know. And, and we will serve God. We shouldn't look for small things. Because our God is a big God. Amen. We mustn't think small. He said, I will always. <laughs> it just said, there's some girls, me. Remind me that Jesus, the God said, prepare your arm, do what you do, and I will open the windows of heaven. And I will pour you out a blessing that you don't even have room. You see the God we serve? Yes, I cannot lie. Yeah, this is God we serve. Amen. Amen. Our God is not a small God. Oh. Our God is a big God. 
I will pour. When Elijah and the woman was in, the woman, her son was taken in, to take in bondage, she went to Elijah. And she said, My son is about to be taken in bondage. And his father was a man of God. And Elijah said, What have you got? Nothing, a cruise of oil. So, so Elijah said to her, Listen, go, go get uh, vessels. Go get vessels. And she got some vessels. And she said, I have no more. She said, He said, Go borrow vessels. And she could borrow as much as she could borrow. Yes. And she said, he said, go in your house and shut up. Shut and pour out. Mm-hmm. But you know, our God is not a small God. Mm-hmm. Our God is God. Our God is Lord. He's Lord King of Lord Kings, Lord. Lord of Lords. Yes. He's altogether lovely. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright among the star. He's the wheel of the wheel. Amen. He's, He's the Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. Oh, God is not a small God. And we can't serve him as a small God. We have to serve our God as a big God. He is Lord of Lords. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. Conquering lion, the tribe of Judah. Virgin, we're in a time, we're in a time where we need to hold on. The Bible says, he that hold endure to the end. It's a time what we have to endure. It's time when we have to hold on. Yes. It's time and we have to brace yourself. Yes. Yes. You have to brace back. Yes. You have to prepare. Yes. We don't know what the enemy is bringing, but we have to brace back and yes. stop. You know, you can't stand up under them. Yes. Yes. We have to brace yourself now. Yes. Because it's bracing time. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. We see Jesus. When we see Jesus, everything is well. When Jesus comes by, everything is well. Yes. Jesus was passing, mm-hmm. and this man named Zacchaeus mm-hmm. saw Jesus passing. Mm-hmm. And because he was a short man, mm-hmm. I have to see him. Yes. I have to see him. Yes. So because he was short, he climbed up on a sycamore tree, and he looked to see. I didn't need to do is see Jesus. Yes. You see how things can change Amen. when we see Jesus. So we see Jesus, and Jesus saw him there. Jesus saw him before he climbed up on the tree, still, you know. But because he climbed up on the tree, Jesus said, "Zacchaeus, come down." Praise the Lord Jesus. We have to come down. When we come down, Jesus can't deal with us up on the sycamore tree. Jesus can't deal with Zacchaeus up on the sycamore tree. We have to come down. We have to come down. Humble ourselves. Cry out to God. Hallelujah. Then the anointing. Jesus said to Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, come down for today. You see? You see, what, what, what sometimes we don't realize now, God has not a problem with time. No. When it comes to time, Jesus don't have no problem with time. We try to catch this thing on time. We try to do this thing on time. We try to go this place on time. God no need. God no need. God don't worry about time. Time, is time. God don't worry about time. You know about time. The Bible says that a day in the Lord is worth like a thousand years. A thousand years for us is a one day. Our God is a big God, brethren. Our God is a big God. Well, I'm so happy to see so many of your brethren and you are here today because we have a love Amen. we have a love for God yes. and that's what I like we have a love for God that is why we are here today Amen. and God recognizes that we have a love and we just we come here because I said we should not forsake the gathering together as a man of some is we should come together in the presence of the Lord and to worship the Lord and say Jesus. No matter what it is, brethren, no matter what it is, see Jesus. If you become worried, if you become anxious, if you become uncertain, see Jesus. Sing a song. Read a song. 
Say our praises. Amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. That's all we need to do. Amen. And he will draw near. Yes. And our darkness yes, will become light. Yes. And our heaviness yes. will become joy. Yes. As long as we see Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. You will lighten our burden. Burdens if we see Jesus. Amen. We see Jesus. Amen. We praise Jesus. Praise we glorify Jesus. Jesus. Where would we be without Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where would we spend our eternity without Jesus? So we glorify Jesus today, brethren. We give him all the praise. We give him all the glory. We give him all the honor that is due unto his name. God bless you today and we will continue to trust in his unchanging arm. Yes. Our Lord, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. No matter what you see, he says, as it was in the day of Noah, so shall it be. And we believe that. What that means is that things won't change too much out of the ordinary. You won't see nothing too dramatic. It will be just everybody will be doing things just as normal until the day that the Lord put in his appearance. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we stand? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I need the oil. I need the oil. Hallelujah. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. I need thee every hour. No tender voice. No tender voice. Like and can peace afford. Can peace afford. I need Hallelujah. Oh, I need Every hour I need special prayer I need you please come I need God bless you my sister Pastor Scott and my son Pastor Scott to lead the prayer every hour God bless you my sister I need you oh bless me now my Savior I come to thee. I need thee. I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, let's go.
the shops. I went up Morrison's yesterday and I saw people bouncing on each other, pushing trolleys, mm -hmm. taking up this. Go up there, yeah. go in the supermarkets, I 